ceremony going on down in Radford with a new innovative arts and technology center on the Radford University campus. WDBJ 7's Annabelle Kinney has details. I'm here at the opening of the new Artist Center at Radford University. From dancing to occupational therapy, students can now do a wide variety of things under one roof. The Artist Center for Adaptive Innovation and Creativity first came to life when Nancy and Pat Artists donated $6 million to help Highlander students with scholarships. While it was under construction for about two years, today the 178,000 square foot building mixes art, health sciences, and technology in a more modernized space. It is also known as a building without silos, which Pat Artist says was specifically designed so that students can be more inclusive of one another and work together. And life isn't silo. Life is complex, multidisciplinary, and you build teams from all different skills. Having all of one thing is not a way to get new ideas or imagination. It yields to what have we done before and let's try it again. Onaje Edmond is a senior dance major. He says with all of the modern open space in the building, he loves that people can watch him and his classmates hit the studio. It's just, it's just so cool to have so many people walk by and go, oh my God, like, what are they doing here? This is a really great experience. From fashion and interior design classrooms to a theater and even health clinics, the Artist Center is not short of spaces for students to own their crafts. Because of all the center has to offer, president of the university, so, Brett Danilowicz, says several departments in the building have record sizes of new students coming in. I'm running into students all over campus that have transferred from other universities within the Commonwealth because of this arts facility. In Radford, Annabelle Kinney, WDBJ7.